Hello guys, how we doing? Welcome back to the Free Hammers Luke here. Something different today, there's not much West Ham news out there. So I thought, uh, you know, I'd do something a little bit different. And I thought I'd do my top five England's greatest songs. Because, you know, we've got the uh, tournament starting in a couple of days. And uh, we have talked about it in work yesterday. I thought, hey, you know what, that'd make an interesting video, you know. Get a few comments going and see what your opinions are. Um, so yeah, just the top five. So number five for me, guys. Um, again, I won't alive when the song come out, but I just like it because it's all Bobby Moore and all people like that. I like that back home. Uh, it's just nostalgic. You know, you look at it and you see legends. You know, these guys have won World Cups. Um, you know, their names are synonymous with English football, the people singing that song. Um, and they were defending champions at the time, obviously, as well. So, um, yeah, it's just yeah, just real nostalgic song. I like it. It's, it's good words. Um, you know, back home, they'll be thinking about us when we were far away. Um, yeah, so that's my number five. Uh, number four, a bit of an unusual one, but I, again, I like the words. It was, a, it was basically a re-release of an old song um, all together now. Um, I think it was... 2016 it might have been Euro 2016 I think it might have come out or it might have been the World Cup before that um, you know they're all together now all together now I just again I love the words love the words of that song it's got you know especially with that football meaning to it you know it brings together all the fans um, it's quite a good one to sing as well really really good song uh, like I say it was a remix it had come out before uh, on its own merit and obviously they linked it to the England team and uh, yeah they used it quite nicely uh, the first couple you know just a few little words on you know coming uh, four, five and four were just honourable mentions because obviously I'd, the top three are where it all lies for me uh, in number three uh, funnily enough I'm using this song uh, at the minute in my PE uh, because we've got to do like a, a dance to represent like the United Kingdom and stuff and the first song uh, my kids walk out to is Vindaloo so that Vindaloo is my number three. There you go. Give it away. Um, it's just a brilliant song. It's just, you know, it sums up English fans abroad. Um, you know, just proper leery geezers, having a laugh, you know. But it's all for fun at the end of the day, which is brilliant. Um, yeah, obviously it's Fat Les uh, parodying the uh, famous song, um, Bit of, Bit of Sweet Symphony, which is a great song by itself. Um, it's just a brilliant song, you know. Can I introduce you, please, to a lump of cheddar cheese? Which one? Burr one, thick one, curl one. Um, it's a brilliant, brilliant song. Another great song to sing as well. You know, it's got a crowd in there with the England in it. Uh, absolutely love that song. Love, love, love that song. Um, number two for me um, is New Order. Um, World in Motion. John Barnes rap. What a song. What a tune. What a tune on its own, let alone a, an England song. It's just a great song in, in, on its own. Um, you know, that, le that legendary rap from John Barnes is, you know, gone down in history. You know, it's just, it's just a brilliant, brilliant song. Uh, great World Cup that year as well, 1990. Obviously, England got to the semi-finals. Um, yeah, I love that song. Um, great music, great lyrics again. Um, number one, I think it's quite easy, guys. <laughs> no, I think it's... Whoa! I do apologise, guys. That was a huge B, and I assume that will get mean, that little clip there. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, uh, number one. Maybe you didn't like my number two, that B. Maybe, maybe you thought it should have been the other way around. Uh, yeah, in at number one, guys, uh, you know, it's the 98 version or the 96 version. Uh, three lines on a shirt. It's coming home. Lightning seeds. Listen, can, can there be a better football song, let alone an England song? That is the greatest football song ever written. It's just a masterpiece, absolute masterpiece, you know, designed so that it can be sung in football stadiums. Euro 96, um, one of my earliest memories of actually, you know, remembering the tournament as well. You know, 94, I was nine, I sort of remember it, obviously England wasn't in it, so maybe that's why it wasn't watched as much in my house. But 96, you know, everyone was singing that as a kid in school. Um, and then 98 again when they re-released it with, you know, even, I think, slightly better words. I actually prefer the 98 version to the 96 version. Um, it's just a fantastic song. It's, it's a brilliant, brilliant song. Uh, great video as well. Great music video. Um, and I think it's a song, you know, it's proved how good it is. You know, it's still synonymous till today. 
last World Cup, obviously, when all those memes were going around, going, it's coming home, it's coming home, and all that. You know, and, and they've already started again for this one, Euro Euros. Uh, so, you know, um, I'd love it to get re-released again at some point. Maybe 2026, you know, when it's, what would it be? The song would be nearly 40 years old then, which is absolutely craziness, you know, to think that that song's nearly 40 years old. Um, uh, sorry, 30 years old it would be, would it? Yeah, it'd be 30 years old. That would be amazing. That would be amazing. But yeah, that's my top five. Um, I hope you enjoyed the little cameo from the B there. I was going to stop the camera. I was thinking, oh, should I stop it and just restart it? But I thought, do you know what? Let's give you guys a laugh in the morning. Um, yeah, but like I say, West Ham News, very light at the minute. Um, so there's not, there weren't much to talk about. Listen, I'm, once West Ham News does come out, I'll make videos for you as and when it comes out. Like I say, give me your top five England songs or top five football songs. You know, your top five football songs that you hear over West Ham might be a, another video we can talk about. You know, I love the old twist and shout and all that. So let me know, guys. Until next time, come in your minds. Keep believing. Let's go.